So we are back with the Jazz and this is a 2015-16 registered single owner done 72,000 kilometers. The S variant, it doesn't come with the airbags, no fog lamps. I changed the uh, number plate. The front and back bumpers are painted. So I'm going around looking at the car once it's come back from painting. And uh, I didn't get the left uh, dummy over there, the black dummy on the left side on the rear bumper. Overall, the doors, all the four doors, nothing, no, no touch of work has been done. Just a little bit of the, you know, the running board and the front and back bumpers. So overall, the Jazz looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, it looks really good in this white. This white is a little bit expensive to paint, but then I think I spent something somewhere, somewhere around uh, around eight to nine thousand rupees on the painting. So on the interior, it's got a black and orange. Uh, apart from the basic black and beige, which comes OEM. So this is the dashboard look, the automatic gearbox, the steering motor controls. You have your manual air conditioner, a basic system. You do not get airbags in this model. You have your four power window switches, your internally adjustable mirrors, your height adjustable seat, your dual pedals, your uh, boot lid opener, your fuel tank. This is the seats that I need to do, but then I thought I'll just leave it for the customer to actually make a decision because it's a personal choice to change the seats uh, for your color, color of liking. So that I leave it for negotiation. So overall the steering, the Jazz is a very nice place to be in. And there's a lot of space, the doors open really wide for you to enter and exit. So it is, this car is really recommended for someone who's really tall, probably who's, you know, pretty big person or a little elder person. These cars are easy to get in and get out. And a good parcel tray, good rare space, shelf over there. So this car has a lot of space. And so on the back you can see it's actually a nice dashboard to look at. The steering wheel is very good to grip and hold. The roof lining is neat and clean. So the car overall has been maintained well. It was a daily runner. Somebody used this car daily. Maybe school drops, office runs. That's why the 72,000 genuine mileage regularly maintained, well serviced. So this is a S variant as you can see there. And the boot space is pretty, pretty big. I mean, it's, this car is, you know, a premium uh, hatchback that they call it. The rear tires almost worn out. The other four tires are pretty good. I think I would give them about 50 to 70% uh, on all the four tires. So, the view of the back seat, and this is how the overall view of the 2015-16 registered 72,000 kilometer done Honda Jazz. So I'm currently sitting in the Honda Jazz and this is a 2015-16 registered single owner done just about 60,000 kilometers and special part again it's an automatic. This being the S variant, the S automatic, it comes with the four power windows, it comes with your auto lock, it comes with all the basic features. You do not get airbags and ABS in this variant but otherwise it's pretty much the same, the console, the center console also is the same. You don't get the automatic uh, climate control as with the VX variant, the previous orange car that I have. But on the other hand, you get uh, steering mounted controls. You get adjustable steering. Okay. So you have your power outlet over here. You have an USB. You have lots and lots of space. The one thing I like about the Jazz is it's got a lot of space to put a lot of things. So you're a person who's always on the move within the city. This is a perfect car for you, it's high, it's easy to load and it is very easy to drive. You have amazing view, a big long dashboard where you have, you can, you know, you have good visibility. The AC vents are right on top so it hits you right in the face so you're, it's keeping you cool. There's a lot of space over here, I find this very useful to actually put my phone to when I'm navigating using the phone. Unfortunately, this car doesn't come with auto folding uh, mirrors, but it does have adjustable mirrors from the interior, internally adjustable mirrors. Apart from that, the car is fairly neat, clean. Just that one seat I need to do. So you can see the interiors, I mean the roof lining, all that is very neat. So these are signs that the car has been well maintained. Uh, even though if you can give it for a good interior cleaning, 
these things are very very difficult to actually get them clean you will have to spend a lot of money to get this uh, you know to maintain it in the, this uh, if if it is dirty to maintain it in this condition you need to spend a lot of money so apart from that let's get driving and let me tell you how this car is and this car should be on sale for about 5 lakhs and i hope i find a buyer for this pretty soon so let's start driving this jazz so this is a 2016 model uh, it's a 1516 registered done about 60000 kilometers and uh, this is a basic uh, it's a it's it's one variant above the basic variant which is the s variant the basic variant i think is the e variant so this comes with uh, four power windows power steering steering adjustable height adjustable steering and the best part is it's 1200 cc automatic cvt gearbox so the cvt gearbox that has, that is available in this car is probably one of the tried and tested uh, uh, gearboxes been in the indian market for a while now and i have been selling uh, these cvt uh, honda cvts for almost about 10 years and most of these cars like for example i started off selling the honda cities and the accords and uh, quite a few civics and these this engine the among the automatic vehicles since i deal in predominantly predominantly automatic vehicles i find the items the hyundai i10 the 1.2 liter i10 the kappa 2 and this uh, honda engines and the honda brio these automatic vehicles actually fairly fair pretty well in the used car market these cars give good mileage especially the honda jazz the honda iv tech engines in the automatic they give more mileage as compared to any of the other uh, automatics uh, in the segment the newer models which are the amt's yeah they do give more mileage but they are not something i would compare with the kind of finesse and the driving pleasure that you would get with the honda jazz or any of the honda brios of the cars in this price segment so this car price segment is somewhere around the 5 lakhs range and 5 5 lakhs and lower so you should get a honda jazz for starting at about 4 4 and a half uh, onwards and that will probably be a 2014 15 model the newer shape the old shape uh, honda jazz is obviously they don't go for that much they they are somewhere around 3 3 and a half range and uh, the newer shape that is this shape starts off at around 4 and a half and goes up till about 10 lakhs and the new 2021 models that are available at around 8 to 9 lakhs which spread off i would say is a great investment but nonetheless it's still is a honda jazz so driving this car uh, i mean as you probably noticed in the video that i've been effortlessly driving this car in these narrow streets and this is what the honda jazz is very good for in our country and where we have uh, you know we have such streets like this where we have okay we have a lot of braking and a lot of uh, you know acceleration and a lot of changing of the gears is needed these automatic cars especially this honda jazz fares very very well so I enjoy driving this car. This is my probably my fourth Jazz uh, that I've uh, sold in the last one year. I haven't updated this on YouTube because I haven't really taken videos of those cars. But um, and so this is my fourth car. This is the first car without an airbag. Most of the other Hondas I have taken have always had the airbags. except for the airbag uh, part of it in this car everything else is uh, pretty uh, you know it's up to the mark you you have no other negative uh, point uh, that i can actually bring out about a honda jazz and especially an automatic an automatic honda jazz it's a no brainer i mean you find a honda automatic honda jazz and you try to you know which changes the gears pretty well i think you should just go and buy it if you are not a kind of guy who guy or girl who prefers something with a lot of performance I mean, this is not a car for performance at all. It's a it's a car for pretty sober driving. You you know, it's everyday work horse. You take it in streets like this. You go into bazaars. You go into you know for your school drops, etc. Maintaining the car is pretty easy. It's not that difficult as my Abad Punto or any other Fiats or any other Germans. So Japanese are known for their uh, finesse. Their Uh, light steering super light steering i mean look at the way i mean the steering is super light it's very responsive it's positioned brilliantly well i mean i don't like the hyundai steering where the steering is all the way on top so this is posi positioned really well and this car is averaging about 11 kilometers per liter according to the uh, onboard computer but then i think i think it should give a little bit 
bit uh, you know plus or minus and if you drive it a little carefully i this car can give about 12 and a half because the manual car was giving me 16 for a city drive it was giving me about 13 or 14 it was giving me i, I have to look up my, the numbers but the manual jazz was giving brilliant mileage and the ivtech engines are known for their mileage and fast free maintenance so this is about the jazz a brilliant little car it's not a little car it's a brilliant car to drive around it's a it's a little it's a mid size hatch it's all as big as a you know a medium size a small to medium size sedan like your uh, hyundai accent so if you're looking for something like a hyundai accent or some you know car in that segment i think this is a better bit it's higher it's easy to get in get out so if you are you have age parents you have uh, people who are uh, you know tall and who have difficulty bending down and getting into lower uh, uh, you know cars this is a perfect car for you you let's just enjoy the drive uh, back home and see how the car fares in everyday moving traffic it's in visibility good so i am in the sport mode now and when you put it in the sport mode the car it accelerates so the gear changes take a little longer it, it revs a little longer as compared to the normal mode the normal mode the gear changes are uh, pretty faster but uh, you know at lower uh, rpms so in the sport mode it Changes at a higher RPM does, uh, you know, consuming a little more fuel. But otherwise, the car is more responsive. So if you are on the highway and you are doing a little bit of overtaking, or you are a little agitated and you want to go a little faster, the sport mode is the right mode for you. But although I like the drive mode, it, it doesn't uh, make the car uh, agitated. It keeps it smooth, you know, smooth and well defined and. well mannered like a honda jazz is supposed to be okay let's put it in sport mode now let me i think i'm going to we have an opportunity to take off so i'm going to put it in sport mode and let me see what happens whether i how soon can i touch 100 okay let's get in quiet suspension performs that was a big pot hole i didn't notice sale soon so this was 
us about the Honda Jazz, a 2015-16 registered single owner, done about 60,000 kilometers, and this is my take on this and why I like selling these cars in the used car market. And these are easy, easy buying and easy selling because these cars have less work. Although if there's something major, these cars cost a bit, but they're not as expensive as the Germans. So thank you for watching my video and I hope to show you more uh, cars as I buy and sell them in on this channel.